Hi, I'm Laura O'Brien from Silicon Republic. Today we're going to take a look at the HTC Chacha. The HTC Chacha feels like a fusion between an Android phone and a Blackberry phone. The priority of the phone's design is squarely focused on the QWERTY keyboard, which is a quite a comprehensive keyboard. Buttons look quite slim, but they're actually quite easy to type with. Um, they're quite raised and they're pretty well spaced, so I never found that I made a lot of typos with them and I could text quite fast. Um, it's also got its distinctive Facebook uh, button just below the keyboard with the Facebook logo on it. Uh, its design is sort of a mix of aluminium and white plastic. I'll show you at the back there, you've got the strip of aluminium, white plastic there. Um, so it, it's a very distinctive look for about the phone um, and has a 2.6 inch touchscreen display um, which are kind of home menu back and search buttons underneath the screen. The phone sacrifices a large screen for um, its keyboard which presents a few challenges for the interface. Now it runs on Android 2.3 Gingerbread and HTC have adjusted their Sense skin to cater for the smaller screen. Uh, one small nice touch I'll just point out now is say if you drag say your phone icon into the little unlock ring brings you directly to your phone book there. So it's quite handy there. Um, it supports up to seven home screens. Um, I mean, they're quite small, but you have a lot of home screens to kind of play around with there. The apps menu, um, it, instead of putting these icons, all apps, frequency downloads at the bottom, it's put at the side to provide more space to kind of browse through your apps. Um, of course, you know, most, say, Android apps are designed for the portrait view, the long view, as opposed to the landscape. So viewing a lot of apps uh, made primarily for a typical Android phone will either have to be viewed sideways or a lot of it will be cut off. Uh, using the internet is a bit easier because, you know, they're designed for a desktop computer monitor primarily. Uh, apart from, say, the mobile sites, but, you know, it, it, you get away with it easier. Although you, I did find that you have to, you know, zoom in a little bit there in order to read your text. So expect to zoom in a good bit by reading. So the biggest feature that HTC are pushing with this phone is the Facebook button. It's sort of a context aware button that whatever you're doing, it kind of allows you to update to your Facebook with that content. For example, say if you've taken a photo, if you press your Facebook button, the Facebook button is a kind of context aware button that uploads content based on what you're doing. So for example, with the photos, if you have a photo up and you press your Facebook button there, it kind of gives you options. You can kind of upload your photos to say any folder within your own Facebook account. You can choose who gets to see them, like only friends or everyone, or you can add and tag, add the tag or a description to it. And when you press done, it'll come up on the site. Uh, video works quite similarly when you press your. Sorry, try that again. Video works quite similarly. So when you press your Facebook button, uh, again you can see who, how many people see it. You know, you can tag who's in it and the description. And press done there. Um, if you go to a website and press your Facebook button it'll add it to your status update so you can share different links to all your friends as well. So I mean for Facebook addicts it works pretty well um, if you want quick access to the social network. Other Facebook features include your Facebook chat, um, your Facebook chat, it's offline at the moment, but you have a Facebook chat widget. There's also an app within that. So again that's quite useful especially combined with the, the QWERTY keyboard for if you want to have kind of real-time chat with your friends. So the HTC Chacha, oh, I have to say that again, hang on. The HTC Chacha has a five megapixel camera on the back and a VGA camera on the front. Oh, did you get a call? No, no, it's <laughs> the drive time, so. Oh, okay. Five, five, five o'clock. 
So the HTC ChaCha has a 5 megapixel camera on the back and a VGA camera on the front and for film it can um, record up to a 720p resolution. I didn't find that the quality of the camera was too fantastic, I find that the colouring was a little bit off um, so I wouldn't recommend the phone if you're kind of trying to take a great photography on it. Um, but there's a few different features to the actual camera. If you go into your menu settings here you know you have your timer, different sort of grayscale sepia effects there. Um, you know, you can change the resolution of the widescreen or just the, the standard and, you know, facial detection and also geotagging as well. However, the phone is great for heavy duty texting and social networking. In my book, physical keyboards win out over touchscreen keyboards any day for typing, although, you know, swipe does come close. Um, so it could be perfect for people who love texting and chatting and I mean the Facebook button is just a bonus especially if you're like a social networking addict. Um, it always feels like a good transition phone for Blackberry fans curious about say Android phones which could be a good market to aim for considering Blackberry's current struggles. The HTC ChaCha is available from free, it'll be available exclusively from O2 and it'll come to all of the networks at the end of the month. <laughs>